1420 Sports Bar Podcast Show 259 on this 15th day, December 2022. As always, I'm joined by co-host Dave, uh, Dave Van Robies, but on this day, we are joined tonight by Hockey Dad, Hockey Coach, the pride of Elro, Saskatchewan, Memorial Cup champion with the 1989 Swift Current Broncos, and the only person I've ever talked to who would willingly put a picture up on Twitter with two black eyes, shiners in hockey equipment. <laughs> We're joined tonight by Swift Current Bronco hockey dad, the whole bit. Wade Smith, how you doing, Wade? Before we get going here, who got you, and what did that guy look like when you were done with him? <laughs> well, yeah, I think uh, when I had that, I was getting Scholastic Player of the Year, which is even funnier <laughs> with uh, two black eyes. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, actually Darren Stoke uh, from uh, – uh, from uh, Medicine Hat, and uh, oh, I remember, his, yeah, yeah. He was a big, strong farm kid, I think, from around Tabor, maybe even. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it was the first time in my life. I'm six foot. Uh, at the time, I was six foot four, and and uh, I, I went to grab onto him, and I couldn't reach him. <laughs> he had longer <laughs> arms than I did, and so uh, I was throwing and and coming about a, up about a half an inch short, and he was hitting me in the face, so. <laughs> oh, he was a big boy. Those Western League days back back then, back in the 80s, in the 90s, my God, the fights and everything that would happen. I, I'm glad I, I played goal and had a full full cage on when I played junior because, my God, the, the beating you guys would take. And you're, you're, you're of that era where the, the great big guys, the big defenseman was going on. No, good to have you on the show tonight. Um, I must say, go, hold on, I okay, did go win. Ahead. I did win. It just took a while. <laughs> and I definitely look worse than he did by the time I was done. But I did knock him down. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we got you on the show. Your your relations with Dave the whole bit. Thank, thanks, Dave, for getting for getting weight on the show tonight. It's a, it's a, I, I love this junior hockey talk. It's a, the game has changed a lot compared to, to when you played Wade, compared to what it is now. Uh, your boys going drafted West League. We'll get into that later on in the show uh, tonight. But uh, give us your uh, your humbling beginnings uh, back in Elro, Saskatchewan. When did you first think, man, I, I might, because Saskatchewan's a hockey haven for junior junior hockey. When did you think, man, I, could, I might be able to do this? Uh I, I'm not sure I still think I could do it. <laughs> um, I honestly, I think, you know, and especially maybe more back in the day, I think, you know, there was a lot, so many kids from small town Saskatchewan that went on to play and, and play well and play big roles. And I honestly think it's, you know, we have, have a little bit, we're willing to take whatever role. Like I went to Notre Dame. I thought I was going to make the worst team there. And I managed to make the, the Bantam AAA team which back then there was no triple A while still isn't in Saskatchewan. So we played midget double A. Um, you know, it, it was, I, I never thought I was ever going to make it. And so you were just, you know, Saskatchewan kids tend to be willing to take whatever role, you know, you want to be on the team. Yeah. I'll, hell, I'll, I'll do whatever you want and do whatever role I need to do to, to, to be part of it. So. And, and for, for people listening, like Notre Dame is, uh, it's a it's a high school in Saskatchewan. It's kind of a boarding <laughs> athletic school. Yeah, um, Wilcox. Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't. It ain't. It's not the Notre Dame. Dame. Yeah, not no, 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 it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not <laughs> South Bend, Indiana. I, I actually went to Notre Dame as well, Wade. Uh, who was your coach in Notre Dame in your AAA or Banner AAA? Uh, Fran Huck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I had uh, who who did I have? It Rod Collins and. Rod Heisler and, and the like, but anyways, yeah, it's crazy that different Notre Dame come like Notre Dame Wilcox. It's a small town boarding school of a hundred. The town's out. There's actually more students than people in the town. Oh uh, yeah, I think there's only a hundred people. Majority of them work there, and then there's yeah. I, when I was there, there's about 350 50 kids at the school. So, yeah. and that's that's before academy hockey. This would be academy hockey now, yeah. but that that yeah. was not a thing. Yeah, so that was the thing. Ago. Like we were the only Bantam AAA team and in Saskatchewan so like I said we played we played midget double a uh in the midget double a Saskatchewan league so it was you know they had and that was the year I was there was the last year so I was there when Brenda Moore was there and and all that that team they won the the well back then it, Centennial uh, Cup back then their Canada Cup and and then the next year they started the junior team and that's 
and I went to Weyburn because uh, I couldn't even try out for junior till you're in grade 12. And so I played, uh, got to play against Notre Dame the next year when they went on to win the Centennial Cup. I <laughs> see they robbed you of a ring. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, now, I did lead I did lead the Wayburn Red Wings in playoff scoring that year. We played them in the first round, and I think we scored three goals. You had two and points. I scored on Curtis Joseph. It was the only goal I scored all year, <laughs> and I scored it from behind the net. But no one had more than one point, so I was tied for the lead in scoring on our team in the playoffs. There you go. I, let's, let's get I into love, your – go ahead, Dave. One sec, though. I just absolutely – Love the fact you're not afraid of name drops. So just yeah, keep that exactly. going as we keep going. I have a funny exactly. well, off air, I have a funny Rod Brindamore story. I graduated with his his younger brother from Notre Dame in 1992. I have a story about Rod Brindamore wanting to kick my ass because I broke the news. It wasn't real news that he was getting traded for for Eric Lindros. Oh really? Oh, it was. It didn't go over well. I was the MC at our gra- at our graduation. And I said, hey, just the story about Brindamore getting traded for Lindros. It didn't go well for me at all that <laughs> night. But anyways, we'll get into you getting traded to, or going going to Weyburn. Uh, when you went to Weyburn, did they already have the um, the all-you-can-eat Kentucky Fried Chicken? Uh, I'm not sure if they, that's when they got it, but it was definitely there. Because it's still there to this day. Times. It's fantastic. Yeah, oh. It's the only one, I think, ever anywhere. I think it's the only one in Canada. It's, it's un- I, I took the end there a few, uh, a few, years, a few years ago. We went to Memorial, or, uh, yeah, Memorial Cup in Regina, and we went took the drive down because you didn't believe me. So we went downtown and saw that, like, and it's still there to this day. Um, yeah. So your rookie year in, in, um, in Weyburn, you had 248 penalty minutes. That's tough to do in a one fight out of the game league. How many scraps did you get yourself into that year? You would get five, ten. See you later, and, and your 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 game yeah, was at ten. So how many how many uh, fist of cuffs did you get in that season? The the crazy thing was back then too. Like that 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 league, there was no limit on twenty year olds back then. Oh yeah. Uh, so like you know they had just brought the. They had, they had just dropped it down, I think, to three 20-year-olds in the dub that year. And uh, so, you know, just about every team had five, six, seven 20-year-olds on it. And you were um, 17. Were, yeah, uh, yeah. I think there was – I can't even remember how many teams. There was obviously less teams then. And uh, there, I think there was only two 16-year-olds in the whole league that year. And I don't know. I think – my actually, my son was asking me that. Today, actually, and I think I think that year I got into about twenty or twenty-two uh, fights. And the the crazy part, I won. I fought I think four times in camp that year. I won all those, and then I don't. I think I had one draw, and I don't think I really won a, a fight the rest of the year. So <laughs> it was. Uh, I was definitely uh, like. I was fighting, but I wasn't doing, I definitely wasn't kicking anybody's ass. So. No, I remember those days back in ju- the junior A hockey ranks when there was no limit 20 year olds. And when 20 year olds would get done playing in the Western League, they would go down and, and <laughs> play tier two hockey just to keep, keep the, uh, keep the dream alive per se yeah. and, and go yeah. from there. Uh, Wade, you got called up uh, for the playoffs. You went, to, you played one game of Swift Current that year it, when you were 16 years old. See, I did some research. First time ever, I think on the 1420 nice, podcast. Nice. And then you, uh, you ended up playing the playoffs. You, you got nine games in you, uh, you were fortunate enough to play with a young man by the name of Joe Sackick. Uh, what would, did, did you kind of have a, uh, you, you go, man, is that kid good? Like, what what, what was your thoughts in playing with Sackick? Um, yeah, like, uh, so I'll, get, I'll give you two stories. Love them. Uh, the, I came up for the last regular season game. He needs five points to tie Theron Fleury for the for the league scoring race. Back then it would have been 195 points. Yeah, back yeah, then or whatever it was. Like uh, and it's still, like, we won the Memorial Cup the next year. That's still the most full I've ever seen the rink was there. It was like, there was two people sitting on every stair. It was three, four deep standing room. And of course, Joe being Joe got, got five points, tied flurry, disappointed he didn't get the sixth one. But, uh, the following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network.